Hey folks, it is, oh wow, it's Thursday, a little sound of the week already. Wow! Here we are. I was trying to do something fun. I was trying to record my my view. Um, some of you are freaking out because like I record while I'm driving, but my hands are free and I'm only as distracted as I normally would be if I was on the phone, at least in my opinion, I don't know. Um, but I was, I was trying to show you my view because I was going past all these beautifully snow-covered trees and I was just like, man, that's so pretty. Just me, just appreciating the little things, you know? So, how are you doing? I uh, would love to hear how you guys are doing and just kind of see I am having a pretty decent end of my day. It's good for me. I, um, let's see, we had first, uh, first of all, we had physical science. Physical science today, we are finishing a brain pop simulator about phases of matter, and I think we're getting it. I think we're getting how energy causes matter to change phases and how it could be um, really dense as a result of pulling down the temperatures and whatever. I just realized I, I had positive postcards written. I never put them in the mail. Shoot! Bummer. I'm going to do that tomorrow. It has to make it out of my list. I don't know if you knew this, but Mr. Eric has a really big list of things that need to be done. And if it doesn't make it to the list, it won't get done. And so it's like, ugh. But it's an adulting hack that we have to do to make sure we can cross things off. Um, same thing for my whiteboard. If I'm at the front of the room and I write it down on my whiteboard, I'll remember to do it. But if I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember. So it's just a thing um, that Mr. Eric does. So anyways, physical science. We also barely got into golden spatula. We'll have to pick up where we left off yesterday. Um, I asked my students to do some homework, and they didn't do their homework, and that's okay. It just means we don't get to do the fun stuff as soon. So it kind of got pushed back a day. So we're kind of in the middle of the elimination rounds uh, for Golden Spatula. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Forensics. Oh, right. Forensics, we learned a little bit more about hair. We learned more about how your hair falls out of your head. Um, you apparently have three types of hair. You have hair that is new hair that's growing. You know, it could last upwards of three or four months. You also have hair that's not growing, meaning that it's the hair you got right now and it's not, you're not getting any more hair. Uh, it's kind of like just staying in place. And then you have hair that's falling out. Like it's in the middle of just you put your fingers through your hair and it came out. Like that's that's kind of the process that we're talking about. So we're learning we're learning about that about hair. We were learning parts of hair. We were preparing for a vocab quiz, which is tomorrow. We'll see how they do. They need to review some vocab for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're learning lots of hair. Um, had a couple kids who are missing. I'm hoping that they're okay. Don't know why they were missing, but we'll find out eventually if it was like COVID or just absent or just whatever it was. Um, let's see, some other updates. I got to do some prep for Positivity Project, which is the organization that essentially we just try to stir up some school spirit, stir up, stir up some school pride and uh, be a positive force around the school in general. We've got a great collection of students. Um, they're, they're, fine. they're kind of on the young side. But that's not that that's a problem, um, not at all. I have had a couple seniors drop in every now and then, but it's mostly a good pile of seventh graders and a good number of ninth graders as well, and a couple of eighth graders kind of sprinkled in there. It's really good to have them, it really is. And um, we finished the day and we were talking about how my words and actions affect others. And so what I did, and I've never done this before, so it was pretty fascinating to me, is I, found a lot of quotes about words that I say and actions that I do. And I cut them out and I gave them to each student. Each student got to like randomly pick one and they had to agree or disagree with the statement. Very fascinating statements. Ones like actions speak louder than words. And in general, everyone agreed that Actions, you know, you can say, I'll do my homework, I'll do my homework, I'll do my homework, but unless you actually do your homework, I don't, you know, it's like I'm not convinced that you mean it. So actions are louder than words. Another one, um, which was a very interesting one, was sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, right? Isn't that the phrase that we're all taught? 
um, that my words can't hurt other people or other people can't hurt me with their words. And it worked for a season. But as you become older, you realize sometimes more damage can be done by words, whether it be like emotional trauma or um, social trauma or psychological, tra like all those things. Like people could say some hurtful things, man. So that was one that we all flat out disagreed with. Another one, however, that my students were very split on was the phrase, sometimes if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. They were very split because some of them were like, actually, no, if I don't have something nice to say, meaning like it won't come out or be felt very nicely, but it's still true. It's still a loving thing to do to tell a person, ah, I'm not so sure you should do that. So they're qualifying that, no, you should be saying something if you don't have something nice to say. On the flip side, other people were saying, well, I agree with that because if I'm responding in a state of being angry or trying to lash back, that is not the best time to say something. I learned that yesterday. I kid you not, I was talking with someone, they said, well, why do you feel like you have to respond right then? Why don't you give us some time so that you're not angry but you're responding in a calm, collected, respectful way. And one of my students said that and I was like, snaps, bravo girl, well done. So, very good discussion in general. Um, I also told my students about the power of informing. Not accusing, informing. So I had my students point at somebody and say, you know, say something like, you are ugly or you are a jerk or you are whatever. And when you do that, when you point a finger at somebody, I'm sorry to be pointing at you, when you point a finger at somebody, you forget that there's three more fingers pointing right back at you. I'm just saying, it's not nice to point fingers. It's not nice, don't do that. You get somebody mad. Um, so yeah, we talked about that. Oh, but the last thought I have for you is when people say, you do this or you do that or you do that, they might be right but their delivery was completely wrong and it might actually do damage. One of my kids was telling me, oh yeah, I got in a fight and I was so right. I was so telling the truth. And later that person came back and apologized. But in that moment, they were mad at me. Maybe there's a better way to deliver that truth. Instead of saying, you're a jerk, maybe you say, you know what? I don't feel good when you talk to me like this. Or if someone says, you know what? You're just not a nice person. Or, you know what? Um, I can't think of the things I had. I, sorry, I'm blanking, but there are some other you statements. Um, maybe it's in your delivery. What you can do is change that you statement into an I statement. You say, I don't feel good about this when you say this. Or you know what? I'm really sad that you think that about me. Or you know what? I think we need to take some time and just, we'll talk later. But I don't really feel good right now. There is so much power in informing people how you feel. I feel like this. Here's why I feel like this, but I feel like this. So, just a thought for you today. Um, AP Bio, I forgot to talk about my AP Bio students. Um, we were talking about the cell cycle, and how cells communicate, why they communicate, and what they're doing when they communicate. Very interesting things that we were talking about today. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go pick up my son. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.